Okay, now in this video, I'm going to show how we can stylize an Excel sheet so that it kind of looks like a web page. Because the question I'm commonly asked is, how can we get an Excel file to look professional and look like, look like a web page? That way, when people open it, they're like, wow, this looks pretty good. So I'm going to show you just a real quick template that I commonly use in my Excel files. So to get started, go ahead and open up a brand new workbook. And I'm going to kind of go through this rather quickly. Let's just say that your content is all right here. This is going to be like a your page. I'm just going to kind of give this a little bit of a, of, of a white background, but kind of darker so we kind of see it gray. And I'm going to show you how we're going to we're going to decorate this Excel sheet, but this right here is going to be your content. Towards the top though, what we're going to do is we're going to create a like a border and we're going to go on and close out the workbook to where they won't be able to scroll towards the right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select column Q and I'm going to hold control shift and I'm going to hit out my right arrow. Once I have all of these columns selected I'm just going to right click it and select hide. So now they can't go past that. They can't go past the P. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. I'm going to let row 21 be visible but I'm going to select row 22 and I'm going to do control shift down it's going to highlight all the rows right click it and hide so already we have a, a fixed width and a fixed height and what we're going to do now is just kind of decorate the border the very first thing you're probably going to want to do is get these three cells I'm going to right and I'm, all I'm going to do is just give it one color now you'll be able to customize it to your colors when when you're ready but in this case I'm just going to use black and I'm going to go on and select it and now the next thing that you're going to want to do is get these columns right here leave the last one open leave P open but D through O I'm going to right click it format cells I'm going to go on and go to merge cells and under fill fill effects let's just do a gradient we're going to do it starting with black our first color and then the second color we're just going to do this shade of gray and let's just do it and we're, we're going to do it as vertical and go on and hit OK so now we have a smooth transition but now we have to do this last column so we're going to go on and click P let's just color it and what we're going to do is just use the last color that we use in the gradient that way it's smooth and continuous and what you can do here is this could be like your title bar you can go to insert one of the things that I'd probably do is do shapes you can do a square you can do this, you can do this as a text box too usually I, I, I do a shape and what we can do is right click it edit text and we can just call this uh, title of application And what you're going to do, though, is, you know, of course, increase the font under Drawing Tools, Shape Fill. You're going to change that to No Fill. And, of course, you can take off the border, No Outline. And you can stylize the, the lettering to your preference. Now, this column, what you would want to do is do it from another gradient from black to gray so I'm gonna do two all the way down to 20 right click it format cells and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit we're gonna merge it first and we're gonna do fill fill effects again it's gonna be another gradient but this one's gonna be horizontal starting with color black Ending with color like the gray, hit OK, and select OK. So now again, it's coming smooth from black all the way down to gray. And then in this column, we can do almost the same thing, but since we're going to change things up a little bit here, I'm going to select P2. I'm going to merge these. And 
the filling will be different here. I'm going to kind of hit OK here and scroll up. Since we're starting with gray, we're going to do format cells, fill effects, starting with gray, and we're going to go sh shift it to black, hit OK. That way we have a smooth transition, but usually column P, I'll narrow it down so it's a, it's a thin border. And again, this is going to be your application right here. What's whatever is in your Excel application will be in this great box. But that way we have a thin border over here. What I would do for the bottom is merge this entire section. And since we have black here and gray over here, just do one more gradient. And we can what we can do is set fill effects. This would be another vertical. And it'd be gray to black. And there you have it. Now go on and modify it to your preference. I mean get creative with this. This is just to give you um, a little bit of an idea as to how you can format an Excel application. I hope you enjoyed this video though. Thank you for watching.